Hello everyone. It's been a dramatic year for the House of Windsor. In the last few months, we've seen a family ripped apart by dramatic revelations and allegations and the death of a beloved patriarch. But 10 years ago, it was a much different story, a fairy tale day that millions around the world tuned into. I'm Keir Simmons. Welcome to our Today All Day special, where we'll be revisiting the royal wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton over the next half hour. Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana's first child and the heir to the throne, we'd seen William grow up before our eyes, facing tragedy and ultimately finding happiness with Kate, his longtime love from university, who is both down to earth and glamorous, ready to breathe new life into the royal family. With pomp and pageantry and a few modern touches, the royal wedding was a day of jubilation that few will forget. It was a day the world was waiting for, April 29th, 2011. The ring, the dress, the kiss. It was called the wedding of the century. Around a million people lined the streets of London, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the future king and queen, Prince William and Catherine Middleton. Pouring into Westminster Abbey, an exclusive group of guests, friends, politicians, celebrities, and of course the royal family and their hats. The Duke of York with his two daughters in magnificent headdresses. The groom was accompanied by his best man and brother, Harry. When we watched this little boy grow up, we saw him in good times and in bad times, and I think Americans love him. As William and Harry greeted guests, the Queen made her way from Buckingham Palace to the Abbey, cheered on every yard along the way. The British public could see how happy the Queen was about this marriage, but it wasn't just the wedding that was important to her, it was the fact that her grandson, the bride, who clearly was going to help him be the best he could possibly be. And then the crowd erupted. The moment everyone was waiting for had arrived. And there she is in all her glory. The first glimpse of the beaming bride. And of course, the dress, which did not disappoint. Everybody just gasped and thought, that is elegance personified. The bride's younger sister, Pippa, smoothed her sister's train and stepped into the spotlight. This was the first royal wedding in the age of social media. And boy, did we know it when Pippa arrived. And just like that, it was time. At times during this incredibly public event, it did feel like we were watching something very, very personal and private. We know that William said to his soon-to-be father-in-law, just a quiet little family affair. There were lovely moments where this just did look like a family wedding. With some private laughs and soft-spoken words and a few turns to get the ring on, they were married. Kate, now officially a royal, the Duchess of Cambridge. I think Kate's today. Newlyweds left the church hand in hand and headed back to Buckingham Palace in style, riding in a 109-year-old state Landau carriage, the very same Diana and Charles rode in on their wedding day. As the crowd went wild. You really had to be there to understand the atmosphere in the country that day. This was a day that was purely devoted to wishing the young couple well. Their cheeks must have been aching by the end of that procession. They were smiling so much. A sea of people marched to the palace to catch that much anticipated balcony kiss. So wow. she's saying wow. <laughs> she can't quite believe it. Oh, here we go. Then. He might have to be forced to give her another kiss later on <laughs> if the crowd insists on it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Magical moment after magical moment. All look to the skies for a Royal Air Force flyby. What's not to love? A happy couple in love just married. In another surprise, newlyweds left the reception early, driving away in an Aston Martin. The license plate read, just wed. It felt like this was the next stage in the royal family's history, that we were entering a new era. It was a private 
love affair that ended with the most public declaration of love. A happily ever after moment to end a fairy tale day. Well, so many of those moments are still etched on our memories. But how exactly did the couple get to their big day? Before the carriage rides and balcony kisses, Prince William and Kate Middleton started out as friends, with some twists and turns on the way to love. Take a look at how it all started. It's a love story that's captivated people all over the globe. Prince William and Kate Middleton. He's the boy who the world watched grow up. She's the girl next door who captured his heart, then a nation's. A royal couple for the modern age. But how did they get here? Well, looking back is half the fun. <laughs> William Arthur Philip Louis, the first born of Princess Diana and Prince Charles. He was raised as a royal had never been before, in front of the camera. From cries to crawls to the little prince's first day of school, we saw it all. Far away from the spotlight, Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, also the oldest, was born in Reading, Berkshire, with a family life that was said to be idyllic. In a sense, the upbringings could not be more different. Kate, of course, had a normal upbringing with two parents who were very much in love, hard-working couple. William's upbringing was just very, very unusual. From the moment he was born, he had the cameras flashing all around him. So many private moments played out publicly for Prince William, most notably the death of his beloved mother, Diana. He was just 15. The world looked on as his mother was laid to rest. I think what struck us most forcibly covering Diana's funeral was the way in which these two very young men uh, walked behind their mother's coffin with such dignity. You could actually see Prince William becoming a man at that moment in front of your very eyes. Four years later, William would eventually meet his future bride at the University of St Andrews. Prince William, how are you looking forward to your first term? Although understandably people are very critical of the British tabloids, on this occasion proprietors and editors actually stuck by the agreement and allowed Prince William to have a private time at university. I think it would have been completely impossible for him to have created the relationship that he did with Kate being in the spotlight. I'm afraid the press just simply would never have allowed it. The two were just friends at first. Legend has it, Kate won William over after modelling in a charity fashion show. That was the point at which people thought, uh, yeah, he's off the market, he's found that. They tried to keep their relationship a secret, but in 2004, the couple were photographed on a family ski trip. Catherine Middleton. The two graduated a year later, both with honours. William began special military training, Kate went to work for her family business. Then came the breakup. In a sense, you needed the breakup in order for the eventual story to come good, especially when there were such extraordinary media attention on her. She carried herself beautifully. Finally, everyone could uh, breathe easy again. They'd got back together. And then the news everyone was waiting for. Nearly 10 years after first meeting, William proposed. It was very romantic and um, it's very, very personal. The ring, Princess Diana's 18 carat sapphire and diamond stunner. It's my mother's engagement ring, so of course it's very special to me. It was my way of making sure my mother didn't miss out on uh, today and the excitement and the, uh, the fact that we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. I think the engagement meant an enormous amount to everyone. The idea that Princess Diana's eldest son had found happiness was something that we all wanted, we all really needed in a sense. The beginning of a new chapter for the couple and the royal family. Coming up, royal tours, royal babies and a family drama. 
we'll take a closer look at a busy 10 years for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Welcome back. Prince William and Kate Middleton have spent the last 10 years in the public eye. The couple has experienced joyful occasions and faced tremendous scrutiny. Here's a look back at the journey they've taken so far. The world was watching as Prince William and Kate Middleton began their life together. After their wedding, the pair quickly launched into their own royal duties. The Duke and Duchess headed to North America for their first royal tour. Hobnobbing in Hollywood and trying out some new looks in Canada. Overwhelmingly, I do think William and Kate have been enormously popular across the world for the way they have handled themselves, handled the media, the tours they do, the other engagements in the UK. Most people think they do a very good job. They've also shown off some memorable moves at home and abroad, with some photo ops being downright magical. We've seen them in more formal settings, but they've also been known to let their hair down. In 2013, the couple stepped into parenthood, welcoming Prince George and later Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. The children have even joined their parents on official royal tours, with cameras capturing the happy and sometimes unruly moments. The couple have had their time with global celebrities like the Obamas and Beyonce and Jay-Z, and they've continued to crisscross the globe, showing off new skills along the way. The Duke and Duchess have shown a commitment to various causes, speaking out about mental health, child development and addiction. For the last few years, I've been focusing on the importance of prevention. How can we all really support the earliest years of life, build foundations and help avoid adversity later on in life? But the last decade hasn't come without drama. Once a tight trio with William's brother, Harry. The group was called the Fab Four when Meghan Markle joined the family in 2018. But while all smiles in public, the image of a happy family wouldn't last long. With Meghan and Harry deciding to step away as working members of the royal family in 2020, making it official the following year. In a recent bombshell interview with Oprah, Meghan revealed a disagreement with her sister-in-law, Kate, over bridesmaids' dresses. And it was an argument, Meghan says, made her cry and not Kate, despite some reports at the time. Meghan also said she struggled with suicidal thoughts after receiving negative press following her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry. And she spoke of how there were conversations within the palace about how dark her son Archie's skin colour would be. The Oprah interview was damaging to the royal family. The fact that it was suggested Meghan was denied getting access to mental health assistance, the fact that there were racist comments made potentially about the colour of the baby's skin, I think that shocked so many people across the globe. Prince William later responding on his own, countering some of those charges. Uh, the royal family a racist family, sir? No, we're very much not a racist family. Recently, some hope for healing for the family after Prince Philip's funeral, when the brothers were seen talking I think many people are invested in Harry and William as brothers. The fact that they grew up so publicly with Diana as their mother means that people just want to see them get on. And hopefully with Prince Philip's recent passing, that is really going to give them a chance to actually mend those fences. I do think it's going to take a bit of time. Despite the scandal swirling, Prince William and Kate Middleton have remained focused on their duties as working royals. Most recently, the family stayed front and center during the pandemic, honoring caregivers and even visiting the site of their wedding, Westminster Abbey, now a mass vaccination center. But what does the future hold for the couple who will one day be king and queen? I think in the coming years, we're going to see a lot more of William and Kate. That's partly because we're kind of down three senior royals in terms of the workload now. And I think this is significant because it's kind of marking the beginning of the end of the second Elizabethan era, that era that we have had the Queen for nearly 70 years as our monarch. It's a turning point in history and William and Kate are going to be there to kind of move that forwards. Up next, more on the arrival of Will and Kate's royal babies, how the littlest royals have garnered love and attention from fans around the world. What might people love more than a royal wedding? 
royal babies. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have welcomed three children into the world, and those kids have captured our attention every step of the way. With a royal wedding behind them and a couple of years of marriage under their belts, Prince William and Kate Middleton were ready for their next adventure, parenthood. Each royal baby had the world awaiting in anticipation and cheering with excitement. Prince William and Kate Middleton's three children have been fixtures in the public eye from the time they were born and have become stars in their own right, with a few tantrums and some adorable royal waves along the way. The couple was delighted to welcome their first bundle of joy and heir to the throne, George Alexander Louis in 2013. He's got a good pair of lungs on him, that's for sure. Uh, he's, uh, he's a big boy, he's quite heavy. Very emotional, it's such a special time. I think any, any parent, I think, probably sort of um, know what this feeling feels like. So Very special. Really right from the start of Kate's first pregnancy, people were totally invested in their children. So by the time Prince George arrived, people were crazy for them. A little over a year later, Prince George was already embarking on his first royal tour, a visit to New Zealand and Australia. Cameras followed his every move, playtime with fellow toddlers, and a trip to Australia's Tarangar Zoo, where he took delight in some things, but not in others. <laughs> and just a few years later, he was off on his first day of school. The next addition to the family, a baby girl, arrived in 2015. At Princess Charlotte's christening later that year, big brother George was right by her side. The brother and sister have stayed side by side through a number of royal journeys, through bad times and good. I think the fact that William and Kate have involved the children in some engagements and in these tours really says a lot about how they operate as a family. They want to stay together. William and Kate are very strong as a unit. They want to spend the time with their children. The two have even become regulars on the royal wedding circuit. The family became a party of five with the birth of another little prince in 2018. A very official grown-up name, Louis Arthur Charles. George and Charlotte couldn't wait to meet their new baby brother. In the years since, the family has offered a glimpse into their lives, celebrating milestones and more the royal children have also stepped up, cheering on essential workers. We've even heard their voices for the first time. Hello, David Attenborough. What animal do you think will become extinct next? I like fannies. Do you like fannies too? What animal do you like? And saw them make their red carpet debut to attend a special holiday performance. These young royals have grown up before our very eyes. I think the question of what the future holds for the young royals is a very big one. No one really knows how the British monarchy is going to look by the time that Prince George accedes to the throne. I think it's fair to say, though, that all of these young children will grow up to pursue their own interests and have careers of their own before they become full-time working royals. Only time will tell what is next, but there's no doubt we'll all be watching. Those kids are just adorable. We still have more to come as we mark the 10th anniversary of Prince William and Kate Middleton's royal wedding. We'll be speaking with a man who's had rare access to the Duke and Duchess, capturing some of their most memorable moments over the years. Stay with us. Thanks for being with us as we look back on William and Kate's wedding 10 years ago today. Chris Jackson is someone who's witnessed many royal family milestones over the years from a unique vantage point, behind a camera lens as Getty Images royal photographer. He tells us what it was like to photograph intimate moments like William and Kate's wedding day, their family, and much more. You've seen the images, and this is the man behind the lens. Meet Chris Jackson, Getty Images royal photographer. He's gone on countless royal tours and captured many unforgettable moments. 
I've visited over 100 countries around the world. I also take the occasional official royal portrait, as well as doing a lot of work with various royal charities around the world, which is a really special part of my job. On the Royal Beat, for two decades, People will look at these images uh, in, you know, 10, 15, 100 years time because they form an important historical record of the, the British royal family. On the royal wedding day, Jackson had an up-close view to capture history. My position was outside the front of Westminster Abbey to capture those first moments of the royal couple as they emerged into the light as a married couple. I was a little bit nervous beforehand and I was up at kind of three o'clock in the morning checking my equipment, rechecking it. One of the things that stood out to me was the incredible crowds that had already gathered. It was a beautiful spring day. I remember the weather was incredible and a sense of, of optimism and, and excitement. There is one shot he took that still stands out. I think my, my favourite photo on day was that full length shot of the Royal Couple. And I was quite lucky they both looked straight towards my camera on, on the day. And uh, it was just a great photograph because of the black background threw them into focus and they stood out against it. When people talk about the Royal Wedding, you know, it is one day in history, but essentially it's a hugely exciting period that really carried on to the point we're at now, where the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took on a huge amount of responsibility and roles and, and looked to the future as um, a new modern uh, royal couple in the royal family. As the couple has gone on those royal tours around the world, Jackson says there are a few images that are his favourites. One of the places I vividly remember was visiting Bhutan. That day of images created this incredible, colourful and very special set of pictures that I'll never forget. You know, when the Duke and Duchess, they tried the Bhutanese national sport of archery, which made some, some great images. And actually the next day they trekked up to Tiger's Nest and there's a, there's a lovely picture with them standing next to a prayer wheel. But another favourite of mine is the Duchess of Cambridge abseiling in North Wales. I love that shot. And I suppose that goes alongside um, a shot of her in India, where she's um, playing with some kids and she's wearing a sort of full length maxi dress and some wedges and she's effectively flying through the air. So those two pictures really sum up how great she is at getting stuck in, getting involved. And, and I think people she's meeting really appreciate that. With the birth of the Duke and Duchess's children, Jackson had a first hand look at the family's evolution with its littlest royals. I often find myself coming away from photographing the children with a huge smile on my face. One memorable photo is of Prince George during a trip to Canada. He's totally unaware of anything that's going on around him apart from, you know, looking at these bubbles and anyone with kids can really uh, relate to that, that moment. Those touches of humanity like that particular image that, that give me the most pleasure in capturing. When on assignment with the royal family, he tries to capture both the big moments and the smaller moments. I think when I take royal photos, I, I aim to capture sort of every element of, of what being a royal means and, and as many elements of royal life as I can, you know, that go from that, the formality and the pomp and the ceremony in which, you know, make the royal family the royal family, but to those more relaxed and candid moments. For Jackson, documenting the royal family means his work will live on forever. If everything comes together on the day and you know you have the opportunity to create a great image, that's that's really special and it's something that you know you can look back on in years to come and will form an important part of the archive. There's no question it's been an eventful decade for Will and Kate. Newlyweds no longer, the parents of three are moving even further into the spotlight now as they take on more duties and responsibilities as senior royals. And if history has taught us anything about the royal family, there are likely a few more highs and lows on the horizon for this future king and queen. Thank you for watching.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.